Yao Ming, good to have you on CCTV News. Uh, you have been very famous around the world as a basketball player. So why did you decide to dedicate yourself in protecting the wildlife and also uh, eliminating those illegal trafficking since you retired? I think uh, the conservation is, uh, um, is a subject that uh, people are very uh, focused on and globally. Uh, about eight years ago, we started uh, uh, our first campaign about uh, the shark fin soup to uh, to persuade people to stop uh, uh, stop buying uh, shark fin and uh, and are pretty successful. And uh, marketing reduced about 50 percent since then. Uh, and now we move on to the next, uh, which is uh, ivory trade and uh, rhino horn. And that is, uh, that is two uh, very uh, treacherous species in, in the world right now. Uh, their numbers are very, very low. Um, if, uh, if we don't start act, act, act right now and uh, in the not, long in not far future, that those two will be, uh, will be gone forever. There are so many and massive epidemic poaching of elephants and rhinos in Africa. You went there to do a documentary on um, uh, wildlife protection. And what's the situation there? And what stood out most for you during the trip? Well, we, we all know why people are going to purchase those animals. Because the value of their uh, tusk, the uh, elephant tusk and the rhino horn. And the reason to do that because uh, the marketing bill of uh, value in, uh, in, in China, in Asia, and uh, uh, in, in the rest of the world. Um, that, that were, that the uh, economic uh, uh, were, were, were pushing more people going to there. What's the reality when you go to Africa? You will see that in the film about uh, the, the dead animal. Um, and uh, sometimes the, the poachers won't going to select the, the biggest animal because they can have the biggest uh, tusk. Uh, but also the, the biggest uh, elephant also would be the leader of the group. All of them are female. Uh, when the leader die, and the group will be panic, uh, we're, we're going panic, and uh, we're spread out. And uh, you know, usually where the elephant cannot be live alone, they will always live as a group. So sometimes kill one leader it means kill the rest of the group. You are a wildlife defender and also a political advisor in China. So what do you think uh, of China's efforts on protecting the wildlife and stopping the trade in illegal ivory? And what more do you think China should be doing? In 1989, the government already banned the illegal um, uh, trade on ivory. Um, but today, there's still legal trade on the market. Uh, so. If we can, we should going to ban the ivory tree and the rhino horn for forever. Uh, that's, I think, from the uh, uh, political part, we, what we can do. On the other hand side is, um, you can't deny the black market is already there, but, uh, uh, but we can persuade people to stop buying that by, by killing the market to, to make an entire uh, uh, chain reaction that uh, um, that where we will kill this, kill this, this uh, um, you know, protest action forever.